Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to configure NFS multipathing from ESXi systems with QNAP Enterprise NAS. Here you can see my topology here. I have uh, several ESXi systems, all are R730XD system. Each of the ESXi is uh, connected with the central switch through multiple connection. These all are 10 gig connections and from the switch KNAP also connected with two 10 gig SFP plus. Today we will configure NFS multipathing from the first ESXi. So let's get started. First, uh, let's log into my QNAP system. Let's go to the control panel. On the general setting, let's go to the network and file services. Here we need to bind our network interfaces with the service. So here you can see that I have enabled only Ethernet 5 and 6. These are SAP Plus interfaces so I want only NFS service will be available through these uh, 10 gig interfaces. So I'm deselecting the other four. So after that let's go to the NFS NFS services. I have deselected the NFS version 2 and 3, only enabled the NFS version 4. And for virtualization environment, because I am using this NFS server or the QNAP NFS uh, with the ESXi, so they are recommending for virtualizing environment, uh, it is recommended to disable the write cache function. So I have enabled from the hardware section the enable write cache ext4 delay allocation. This is actually uh, a dangerous operation. I have uh, seen here the enable write cache ext4 delay. It says that when this option is enabled, an unexpected system shutdown may lead to data loss. So, for the safety and security, I have deselected this option. Okay, so let's go again to the NFS service. So, enable NFS version 4 service. We have selected this option and let's go to the NFS uh, share permission. From here, we can create our NFS share folder. Let's say NFS1 and we are selecting the SSD volume. We don't need anything else here. Let's create the share. Okay. On the advanced permission, enable advanced folder permissions to see the advanced permission settings. So select the NFS one and let's go to the edit properties. We can see the properties here. We can change if we need anything to change here or we can go to the folder permission. Now this view will not be available if you do not uh, select the advanced permission. So from here, guest access right NFS1 only we are allowing the admin user read write. This is kind of root user, superpower user. Guest access is deny and owner is admin. Only the owner can delete the contents. So click apply. Hit yes. So we have set the permission. Now let's go to the NFS host access on the access right. Let's give our subnet here. Hit 
let's add another IP because we will access from this both subnet so we are done configuring the NFS on the QNAP side if you log into our QNAP system through shell we can check our etc exports here you can see that NFS version 4 enabled and these two subnet is allowed so let's uh, go to the VMR for the configuration if I show you my LAN cards here you can see that VMNIC 4 and 5 these are 10 gigabit interfaces so to connect with the QNAP NFS server let's create a standard switch let's name it VSW NFS uplink 4 and uplink 5 click add now let's create two port group nfs p1 path 1 add another port group nfs p2 connected with the V switch NFS so after creating the port group we need to create the VM kernel interface port group will be NFS P1 IPv4 static in our topology will be assigning here 50.1 and 60.1 default TCP IP stack and we are not selecting any other services for this interface let's click create and let's create another interface for NFS path 2 this will be 60.1 0 I forgot to show you my QNAP LAN card setting here you can see that I have 10 gig interface 50.30 and 60.30 so to directly communicate with the QNAP server I have assigned 50.1 and 60.1 so if I see the switch operation here here we have two port group with two VM kernel interface with multiple IP so let's log into the system and ping both IP to ensure that uh, our ESXi can communicate with the QNAP here we have logged in to our ESXi system now if you see our interfaces here you can see we have VM kernel interface 50.1 and 60.1 so let's ping 50.30 yes we can connect 60.30 so we are connected from the ESXi to QNAP let's go to the storage new data store mount NFS data store NFS version 4 name will be NFS
data NFS server 91680 50.30 and 91680 60.30 NFS share NFS1 username admin and admin password click next finish okay so here you can see the type nfs41 nfs data so we are connected to qnap nfs share we can check the connectivity from qnap Here you can see netstat NDP grave established connection. Here you can see that 60.30 is connected from the 60.1 and 50.30.2049 port connected from 50.1. Now from the ESXi, we can check that our ESXi here it connects to NFS data volume from the 50.30 and 60.30 uh, it shows the hardware acceleration not supported so we need to install the VAI plugin to the ESXi the QNAV VAI plugin then it will be uh, enabled so we are done configuring let's make a test and phase data let's upload something Let's upload a file. So we are transferring a file. So in the meantime, if we disrupt our connection, we can check that transfer is continuing or not. We can see from here. Let's disrupt the operation. Let's delete NFS path one VM kernel interface. Here we have deleted. Let's see. Here you can see that it is resuming the upload. So we are done testing the NFS multipathing with QNAP and VMware ESXi 6.7. So thank you. Bye now. I'll see you on the next video.